Welcome back to another video and in this video I will show you how to color grade your photos or digital artwork. Color grading is really important if you want to have a really good end result of your photos. So if you take photos and you don't do anything to them, they might not look that good. So you want to make sure you color grade your photos and do all the necessary editing to it. So as I said, color grading is really important and I will show you exactly how to color grade your photos like a pro. So I use these methods on everything, on photos or digital art work, and you can use them too. You just need to know these steps so you can apply them to all your own photos. So I'm gonna show you exactly what these are. If you want to learn more about photo editing or creating digital artwork, make sure to check out my Photoshop courses where I go really in depth on every subject. All right, let's dive into Photoshop. So I got this photo from the squirrel here and you can see here, this is a really great photo. Now there are some things that we could do to the colors to make it even better for the end result. So first of all, once you have your photo in Photoshop, you wanna do some color grading to it to make it look better. Now the first option to color grade is to simply add a color balance to your photo. And in color balance, we can change the colors a bit. Now you can see here, we have a lot of green in this image. So I wanna get rid of some of that green. The green looks nice, but I have a feeling it's also too much on the squirrel and I wanna balance it a bit better. So what I will do here is I would add some blue to this and you can see here the color changes a bit. And let's also add some reds to it so we can see the squirrel fur looks really nice with this. And that's the first thing for this photo. You can see here if I disable enable this, it's already a bit better. Now the next step I will do to add to this is to add a curse and a curse we can also do some color grading. Now you can see here we have the RGB selected and if we change these RGBs to red, green or blue we can change these colors. Now for instance if I select red here and I will take this lower point and move it to the right it's gonna remove the reds from the darker tones. And this is what I want to do. I want to get rid of some of the red from the darker tones just like that. And if I take the upper one and move to the left, it's gonna add red to the highlights. I don't wanna add red to the highlights, I just wanna remove them from the darker tones so we have some nice colors in the grass and the surroundings. Now let's move to the blue one. Here, if we move the blue one the same, it's gonna remove them a bit, but I wanna keep the blue in this image, so I'm not gonna change that one. And for the green, if we wanna get rid of some of the green, maybe slightly to the right to make this even better. And you can see here with just two layers, we already have this image a lot better. This was before and this is after, it's a lot better balanced. Now we can also add a highlights here, a bit lighter there and the darker tone slightly darker. And you can see here, I'm already pretty much done. And the next thing I would add to this is a hue and saturation layer. And here we can also change the colors. So we have three layers to adjust the colors. And what I usually do is I drop the saturation a bit to get a bit more cinematic look to my photo. Maybe not so much, maybe like that. All right, so let's put this in a folder and then compare this before. You can see here, we have so much green in this photo and now we have this one. It looks really kind of more realistic and it has this cinematic kind of feeling. So that's actually the only three things that you have to do to color grade. Now, when you're done with your photo or editing, you can also go into camera raw and here you can also apply some color grades. This is what I usually do if I want to change something at the end. For instance, I wanna change the mood a bit of a photo. I would go into calibration here and here we have the sliders that you can change the colors again. And sometimes moving these sliders can change your image really good. Like you can see here, if I move this around from left to right, I can try to make this even better, maybe like that and let's see. Let's increase this one, just like that. Now let's press OK, and you can see this one. Let's put this also in the folder. Before we had this, and now we have this, the colors look a lot better, at least to me. So that's it for the color grading. Try it out on your own photos, and you will improve your own photos with the colors. Thanks for watching, and catch you on the next one.